Welcome to the third of the Hidden Prologue Salons at the Radisson Blue Edwardian Bloomsbury Street Hotel. Hidden Prologues is a series that looks at the writing behind the writing, at the writers and the books that have influenced the writers of today. I'm Sam Leith and today I'm going to be talking to Jenny Colgan about the hidden prologue to her new novel, The Little Beach Street Bakery. So Jenny, who are you going to be talking about today? So my first writer is James Herriot, the vet uh, turned writer, turned extraordinarily, um, quite an exceptional human being really, um, who just brought a real kindness. He's a very kind writer, he's very funny, and he's very warm. And we now have, me and my editor, we have, you know those WWJD badges? What would Jesus do? Yeah, yeah. no, we, we've got them, but there's, what, what would James do? <laughs> <laughs> so when the Fifty Shades thing was really kicking off, and I said, should we spice it up a bit? She said, would James do that? And I was like, no, no, no. But if you look at the Sweet Shop series of novels, uh -huh. of which there are about to be three, in fact, uh, they're set in a little village in rural Derbyshire um, and it is modelled very strongly on that Derby sense of everybody knowing each other, everybody working with the land, the vet in the pub, having a drink with his dog under his chair. You know, it's well, there's a lot of that in this book as well, isn't there? Yes, the, the there idea is. Of a the, kind of community. The sense, I think people like, especially now when we're all kind of tied to our phones and living at great distances often from our friends and family, and I think people do feel how nice it would be um, you know, to, to, to be in a small community like that. And then, of course, people move back to small communities and raise their children like that, and their children grow up going, oh, this is awful, everybody knows me, I've got to get out to the big city. And, you know, the, the cycle continues. And what else are you going to talk about? There's another... And I am going to talk about someone who had a huge effect on me, which I didn't really understand at the time, who, who was Charles Schultz. He had a general insight into the human condition and not necessarily the child condition but certainly the adult condition it's funny but he's Charles also i mean what's i was going going back reading you know the seth and fantagraphics is, are, are doing this collected peanuts yes starting and, they, and they're beautiful i you think know. i'm going to write one of the intros <sighs> if it's andy miller's trying to fingers crossed we'll see he um put franklin the little black friend of charlie brown's just very quietly put him in the class at the absolute height of that school uh, segregation thing that went on in America. And he got hate mail, he got, you know, threats and all sorts of stuff. And he just went, no, I'm doing it. Well, thank you, Jenny. I look very much forward to hearing more in the salon in a moment. 